What if your phone didn't have any bezels around the display? Well, Vivo's trying to figure that out, and I'm Andrew with Android Central. We're gonna check it out here at MWC 2018. This is Vivo's new Apex smartphone concept, and as you can see, the big headline here is the fact that it has extremely tiny bezels, and it does so without any notches or any extra kind of foolery around visually. So what you see here is a six inch, 18 by nine display. It's just FHD+, plus, but that's not really that big of a deal when you consider everything else that's going on in this phone. The bezels around the sides here, uh, 1.4 millimeters on these three sides and 4.3 millimeters on the bottom. And so Vivo thinks that as this progresses, they can get this bottom bezel down as we turn on a white screen, you can see a little bit better. As they get this bottom bezel down, they think that they can get it down to the same size as this. And at that point, you'll be at 95 plus percent screen to body ratio. And it's doing this with a flexible OLED display, which doesn't necessarily help them in terms of having curves on the sides, but helps them fold components on the back to connect the display to everything on the inside. And we've seen Samsung and others do that, but not to such a dramatic effect. So you think that without a notch and without any other crazy things, how do you have all of the main features of a phone here? Well, it starts interestingly, interestingly with the front facing camera. So we have our rear facing camera here, and when you switch, the front facing camera pops up from the top. It's motorized, it's designed to come up and go as you wish, and when you switch back, it just retracts back into the bottom. And so all you get here is just this little pod on the top, and that's it. When it's hiding, it's hiding. Nice little privacy uh, uh, feature as well, if you think about it that way. While we're up here, you also see that uh, there's an extra sensor. That's an ambient light sensor, so that's normally another thing that sits alongside the front-facing camera on that top bezel or in a notch. They just do it up here. It can read ambient light just fine. You'll also notice that there's no speaker up at the top. That's normally what you would see up there for a top bezel. Well, they're doing a bone conduction-like vibration uh, speaker, and they're doing a proximity sensor for when you're in phone calls embedded in the top of the display. So when you take a phone call, you can put your put it up to your face and it turns off and I'm feeling my hand vibrate here with the audio. Again, we've seen that in other phones as well, but not to the effect where it allows them to de decrease the bezel so dramatically. Also, fingerprint sensing. So of course you need an in-display fingerprint sensor here. In this case, it's a, they're calling a half screen fingerprint sensor. It's about the third of the screen. It's an optical fingerprint sensor, just like we've seen with the uh, concept phone at CES. And when you see the test here, you see it's basically this whole area you can put your finger down on. Now the fingerprint sensor is optical because it has to come up through the display. And that means that it's a little bit slower than a capacitive sensor, but I think a lot of people would be okay uh, going with an in-display fingerprint sensor if it enabled this big of a screen and this small of a package. And Vivo is also talking about a multi-finger uh, fingerprint sensor solution. Now it takes a little bit of time to enroll here, so we won't do that at the moment, but effectively you get two different areas where you could use two different thumbs. So if you want double authentication to make it a little bit harder for someone to you know, grab your thumb while you're sleeping or something, or have two people authenticate at the same time, maybe to unlock certain apps or certain photos, you can do that. And it's really just a proof of concept, of course, like the rest of this phone. Now, the interesting thing here for me is that this phone is not that large. I would assume that with this big of a display and this tiny of bezels, this phone would be huge. It would be gargantuan. Obviously, this is all kind of reference hardware, but it's not that big. Uh, this is maybe 10 millimeters or so thick. It's not that heavy. Of course, it has a glass back and a metal frame, so that adds to the weight a bit. But you can see they're already envisioning, envisioning this with dual cameras on the back and uh, flat planes that get glass. They could do all kinds of different stuff here. They're also not messing with things like the buttons. You get a regular volume rocker. You get a regular uh, power uh, button, and you can you know, just get normal SD card slots, SIM slots, things like that. 
and on the bottom, they still give you a headphone jack, still a USB-C port, and uh, some speaker grills as well. So you don't lose out on any of the basics, and that's kind of the amazing thing about seeing this technology. I honestly don't think that we need to go crazy and think that this bezel needs to be any smaller either. I would be totally fine with just this, this size on the sides and uh, you know, a little over four millimeters on the bottom isn't gonna hurt anybody. So as far as uh, retail availability, we're not gonna see this device, this exact device produced, anything like that. This is more of a set of concepts to show how you can do a bezel-less or near bezel-less display like this and not have a ton of compromises showing how the camera can come out, how the sensors can work, how the fingerprint sensor can work, and how you can still have speakers in a full-blown smartphone. This is a pretty amazing concept from Vivo. We know that this isn't gonna be coming out as a finished product, but if any of this technology makes it into any phone in the future, we're extremely excited about this.